have two options as we have two options one option is bam light where for example i don't want it to go for cash management so which needed separate license so i just wanted to go along with my finance so then i will use a bam light option then and the second thing is if i wanted to go along with the cash management then i will get the functionalities under cash management this bank account management functionality is part of your cash management so i can see the full functionalities of bank accounting management there so in addition to that uh, in the cash management we can able to see some other functionalities as well cash operations and liquidity management and also centralized bank accounting management all these things we can see and also there are a couple of uh, fields new fields added in the master data as well from the uh, when you uh, go along with the cash management so mm -hmm. we will see all those differences also okay. let's coming from our uh, uh, on the classic so generally when we go to the classic so to create the bank master data so what is the transaction code we are using so to create the bank banks what is the transaction code we are, we are using b0 p yeah, pzp and use the house banks <laughs> house banks the abjb is a configuration for uh, the payments payment program so, yeah the, the bank yeah the bank configuration uh, we are doing under the yeah fi code. yeah so when i yeah fi12 right yeah fi12 transaction code so now uh, when i put the same transaction code mm -hmm. what is the message i'm getting i'm getting that please use the ba manage bank manage banks okay. manage banks and manage bank account apps that okay. means this tra particular transaction is absolutely yeah. on uh, yeah on Isfohana. Mm -hmm. so we are using the new transaction code now which is called FI02, the one which we create the bank keys is that one is also obsolete. FI01, FI02. FI01 also we will see. This is there. Only FI12 yeah. is a new transaction code is given. FI12 underscore H bank. Okay. This is a new transaction code where we are creating the banks now. So, and one more thing, uh, what you, you if you see something here, I think we are we are missing something or everything is looking same. Bank country key address, EDA data, medium exchange. Where is the bank? This is just the house bank, right? Then you should have the one for the bank accounts. Okay. So that means we are missing the bank accounts one. Okay. So we are we are missing that particular part. So that is the change here. So bank account number earlier we used to configure here. So the bank account number now we are not controlling from here. It is moved to print end. Okay. Oh. A particular okay. app is given. So from there, it's a managed bank account. So from there, uh, it will be again controlled. So those things also we will see. This is a one change from we can see from uh, bank uh, creation. So let's see a couple of other things. Okay, so we can't see the SAP easy access screen. The I means like easy access screen. People have to use if we are not using Fury. In we are using the Fury. We are using no, no. Fury. Like if, for example, if someone, some client is not using Fury, then they have to maintain a bank account can, in easy access screen. Yes, they can do it here. Yeah. So go to your financial accounting, banks, master data, house banks. But the transaction is changed here. Yeah, okay. You can create from here also you can create from also certain apps also given we will see all those differences okay and uh, i'm talking about only uh, the finance bank accounting management light i mean bam light so now i don't have the cash management functionalities i don't which is needed separate license which is a separate components i'm not talking about that now 
So when it is there, then then one of the additional function functionalities we'll get that also we'll see later. From BAM like perspective, so basically the change is here. You need to have this setup. This is the only changes we can see. So and the bank account number, what will what it is happening is, for example, you have you don't have the cash management cash management functionalities. Mm -hmm. When you say it is a cash management functionality, you will get the other functionality like your BCM and the cash operations and all those stuff also will come into the picture. When 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 the BCM is coming to the picture, basically when you were all the approvals for the bank creation for bank closing for all those stuff, you need to have approval process it will be going uh, go through the approval process for example your treasury manager will be there so he will be for for example your your uh, finance manager from from particular region so he wanted to open the bank account so then the request will goes to the cash manager and cash manager will once the, the treasury cash manager will be approved that particular bank account number then the bank relationship manager will request to create the bank account number of the bank so once it is created the accountant will receive that account and he will be add that account to uh, in the front end so that is a change here okay this one you don't have bcm on this demo version in case of it is there is no bcm the process will this will be not uh, go in the approval process okay this is a a normal process with the, when you go with the bank bam light yeah. okay when we do no. the cash management mm -hmm. When we go the, with the cash management, then okay. we can see additional functionalities. I will show you all those things as well. Okay. okay, this system, what you are working, it has the cash management also, right? Yes, yes. Okay. So now uh, we will see the configuration changes when we go uh, along with the cash management. There are certain new configuration notes are added. So those also I will show you. So then we will discuss on the bank accounting management and centralized bank accounting management, so which is one of the one more component is added with the cash management. Those things also we will see. And also we will talk on a couple of uh, apps relevant for cash management for cash pooling and cash concentration and all those stuff yeah i see the bank accounting cash management bank accounts maintenance you can see them cash management bank accounts yeah, yeah. all this is going here okay so here uh, you will get the apps relevant for the bank accounting management. Mm -hmm. Let's see, you can go from here or you can directly search also. So manage bank accounts. Okay, for this, you should have the house, house bank already created in SPR work, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. yes, so that is one thing. And second thing is, okay, configuration point of view, you you need to have the house bank to be created, the config in uh, whatever we are doing in the same way we need to do. But only what we will do is here, mm -hmm. we will assign the bank account number here. So in the real time, what will happen is before that we will see some configuration what we are doing for it. So.
So we are doing the configuration here for a bank accounting management. So, so here uh, uh, there are certain new dimensions also added. So account type and all those stuff. So you will create your all the uh, accounts, account types. For example, my current account or deposit account or loan account or investment account, whatever, whatever the accounts you wanted to use in your business. So those accounts will create here. And whether it is relevant for inflow, ca cash inflow, or cash outflow. So both the things you can select here. When, when, for example, for, for, my, for my cash pooling, so I wanted uh, to have the, both the functionalities, then I can use inflow and outflow functionalities. Or sometimes if you want only inflow, then you can select inflow only. Sometimes oh. if you wanted to use only outflow, you can use only outflow. Only for the payable, you say out, outflow. Okay. Yes. And this thing is whether it is operational account or functional account. So those controls we are keeping here. Mm -hmm. And second thing is the, the, the sensitive fields uh, modification process. For example, uh, from bank accounting management perspective in the master data, for example, you have sensitive fields, <coughs> some signature is or whatever. So those things uh, we are controlling all those fields here. Okay. And third thing is, is, is this define import methods for bank statements. So there are different kinds of import methods for the bank statement, right? So those things yes. we are controlling here. Okay, your FF underscore five when you do the import. So there are certain functionalities, right? So the import and all import methods and all. So mm -hmm. those import methods we need to configure here. The T code. The method. most important thing here is okay. yeah, the F E B A N and all they are they still work the same way. FBAN. Yes. Okay. The the FBAN, it will it is FBAN in uh, only few things are changing from the uh, transaction codes, but but most of the things will work as it is. But some of the things are given now new apps. So those also we'll see. Mm -hmm. And the new the different, this is an, I mean, in, uh, signature controls where, mm -hmm. uh, for example, yeah, I'm, I'm creating the new bank account now. This need to be uh, followed the approval process. So for example, my, from my, uh, 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 my, my finance manager is requesting a cash manager or cash manager is approving it now. So then it has to go to a bank relationship manager and he has to open the bank account. So this okay. needs the approval process. So this request will go to, uh, for example, I think I will show you the from, from the print end also. So this needed the BCM module. Okay. This needed additional license for BCM. Okay, for the BCM, when you see this, so you will have four users there. So cash manager role, and also your bank manager, I mean your cash manager role, and also finance manager role, and also accountant role. So these are all the three roles where you are requesting someone and he's approving, he has to again uh, log in with his user ID, and he has to approve it. Then again, it goes back to the accountant and he can able to add the account there. So for that, you the workflow to, process. We need different. to create the workflow here or just the that configuration will automatically be. No, 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 no. We need to create the workflow. Okay. So once the workflow is created, I'll show you which uh, uh, objective we are using for workflow for especially for bank account creation and closing. Those also will see. So this needed additional license for BCM. This, this point of time, the BCM will be coming to the picture. So okay. once BCM is there, once you created the roles, then the mm -hmm. approval process will be triggered. So for example, you have three roles, three users. One user is cash manager, one user is for finance manager, one user for accountant. Mm -hmm. So those people will log into their user IDs by using the, their user IDs. And when they see that there's workflow, so the, the workflow will be shown in their account. Okay. They, for example, if the request is from accountant to, uh, it goes to cash, cash manager. manager. So cash manager inbox, it will show the, uh, I mean, uh, the request from the accountant. So he will approve here. Then it will go back to the accountant that is approved. He can able to add the account. So these are all the, the front end things we can see. And for that, we need the BCM module. In the BCM, what where we are doing this configuration also, I'll show you. This is important uh, things. So this, this particular signature groups also, uh, we are using the BCM. And here, new thing is earlier also we have signature groups, but now basically we are validating the signature groups from particular date to particular date also. That is also uh, possible now. Okay. Okay. And also uh, the approval, different approval patterns, and these are all uh, we are controlling from the 
BCMint. Mm -hmm. All okay. approval patterns and signature controls and all. So we, I will show you one of the important. So this maintain the event for type linkage for the trigger workflow process. So here we are using uh, the object category is FCLM underscore CR. This is a object uh, uh, category we are using for object type we are using for uh, bank account creation closing approval process to trigger the workflow for bank account in creation and also closing what? process. Let me show you it. Yeah, this is FCM FCLM underscore CR. This is the basically uh, object type which we are using for to trigger the workflows when you are creating the uh, bank account. When you are creating the bank account. Okay. okay. This is an important one. <coughs> and other other side, the BC mint and the configuration, whatever we are doing, looks same. But the signature controls, now we are validating with the dates also, it is possible. And other 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 things we can see from the front end, and also the payment request and all those things also it, it is not changed. We can see those as well. So payment request controls again you are doing same here like the payment request. This is under your uh, financial accounting under bank accounting and, and and the payment request and all those. This this looks same so almost. Now we will see uh, whatever the controls move to front end. So how we are adding those things. 